Uh, the killing of the three would not have been committed without the participation of officials and members of the Davao Penal Colony. Nandito na po lahat yung major players ng conspiracy to commit murder doon po sa Davao Penal Colony. Uh, narinig nyo na lahat yung testimony nila tungkol sa isang operation sa loob ng Davao Penal Colony. Yung operation na yun na sinasabi involved the killing of three alleged Chinese drug lords who were detained inside. There is always a time for reckoning. I think the reckoning is now. Mr. Chair, may I move that the NBI should file the necessary charges against those people who should be charged because of this uh, crime, Mr. Chair? So move, Mr. Chair. Matinding balitaktakan to ah. Watch the full highlights video. Nandito na, pa, nandito na po lahat yung major players ng conspiracy to commit murder doon po sa Davao Penal Colony. Ang absent na lang yung tao na hinahanap natin, SPO4 Arthur Narsolis na tauhan ni uh, Colonel Leonardo at naging tauhan din ni Colonel Garma. Why can't you not produce SPO4 Narsolis? Mr. Chair, there's a system in the Philippine National Police so that the PNP can be assured na yung mga retirees po ay buhay. Lahat po ng retirees may kabadi. In my case, ang kabadi ko po yung, yung security officer ko. And every three months, I think, kumukuha sa ng litrato kasama ko para masabi may hawak ako na jaryo o kaya kalendaryo para makita na buhay ako nung araw na yon So, bakit nahirapan ng PNP? Para hanapin siya. When there is such a system for them to be able to locate SPO4 Narsolis. Uh, based on our uh, coordination with PRBS, sir, uh, the subject personnel sir, has already received only the lump sum but not yet receiving the pension. So wala pa po daw siyang kabadi. Yung uh, sistema natin, ang pwede mo lang i-lump sum ay three years after which you will receive your monthly pension. pension. Di po ba? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. O kaya, hindi nyo lang alam kung paano siya hanapin. Would that be true? Colonel Leonardo and Colonel Garma, up to the time that you were with PCSO, in assigned din ni Colonel Leonardo si SPO for Narsolis sa PCSO. Would that be correct? Y yes, Mr. Chair. Correct po, Mr. Chair. Yes. Colonel Leonardo and Colonel Garma, if you held a meeting in Davao in June 28 of 2016, if I may, Mr. Yeah, Chair. Kayong dalawang tinatanong ko eh. Uh, no, Mr. Chair. In, uh, yes or no? Nagkita-kita po kami, Mr. Chair. Meron eh, pong naalala ko na nagkita-kita kami. Kung nagkita-kita kayo, nag-meeting po ba kayo? Yun ang tanong ko eh. Pakisagot lang po ng yes or no. Uh, no, Mr. Chair. You did not meet with your classmates? Mr. Chair, hindi po kami nag-meeting. Nagkita-kita lang kayo. Opo. Ang uh, ibig ko sabihin, yung mga Mr. classmates Chair, yung... mo, galing sa iba't ibang lugar, nagkita-kita kayo doon. Na, no? Opo, nagkita-kita po. I your answer. Tama? Nagkita-kita nagkita yes. po kami, Mr. Umiiwas Chair. Umiiwas ka kaagad, Iho, eh. <laughs> Parehas lang tayong galing sa CIDG. Di ba? Pero ako naging happy, ikaw hindi. Yes. Colonel Garma, would that be true also that you met with your classmates, members of Class 97 mm. yes, in Davao City on yes. June 28, 2016? I'm not sure of the date, Mr. Chair, but there was a meeting. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, there was a meeting. Okay, I'm just establishing the fact. Yun ang sagot ninyo. You're not very sure. Kasi I'm sure. Sigurado ako. Kasi... We have witnesses. 
Tatanungin ko ba ito? Kung hindi ko alam. You're under oath. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, you met. Yes, Kasi Mr. Chair. I said yes, Mr. Chair. May sinundo ka pa nga sa airport eh. Di ba? I'm just refreshing your memory. Correct? So, you met before July 1 of 2016 when President, former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte took officially office. According to reports, Mr. Chair, there are three lists. Three, three, three. The original, the first, and a commendation of the first and second. Yes, Your, uh, Your Honor. Director Gerald uh, Lasso, what, what do you understand by the phrase or the statement, there is always a time for reckoning? Uh, Your Honor, uh, it means uh, hindi parating fiesta. <laughs> hindi parating nakahilata. Sometimes dadapa ka rin. Hindi palaging sarap, may hirap din. Thank yes, you. Your Honor. Nandito na po lahat ang kwan. Nandito yung superintendent ng penal colony. Nandito yung uh, tatlong PDL na narinig nyo na lahat yung testimony nila. Nandito na rin yung kasamahan ni Superintendent Padilla, si uh, si Jail uh, Captain na ba, iho? Jail Captain Poro, at saka yung in charge ng Bartolina. Kasi, yung conspiracy to commit murder, sabi po nila ay nag-start nung pumunta si SPO for Narsolis at kontakin yung kaklase niya ng high school. Inamin, ni uh, PDL uh, Tata Tan nakaklase niya sa high school at kinausap niya tungkol sa isang operation sa loob ng Davao Penal Colony yun po nangyari now, yung operation na yun na sinasabi involved the killing of three alleged Chinese drug lords who were detained inside the Davao Penal Colony PDL Tata Tan contacted the PDL Andy Magdadaro to help him accomplish the plan. Nandu naman lahat sa affidavit nila, subscribe and sworn to. Uh, the killing of the three would not have been committed without the participation of officials and members of the Davao Penal Colony. And what were the acts of said officials? There was a statement by, by uh, PDL Tatatan na sinabi nila kay SP of Foreigner Solis na mahirap gawin na patayin yung tatlo simply because magkaiba ang lugar nila. Yung foreign nationals na nakakulong ay eh, nakakulong sa ibang lugar, yung mga locals na sa ibang lugar. So this information was relayed to SPO for Narsolis. Sabi ni SPO for Narsolis, ako nang bahala. Uh, what followed was Galugad operations. Tama del del Captain Poro. You Opo. conducted two Galugad operations. One, doon sa selda ni na uh, PDL sa uh, Tata and Andy. And do own sa foreign nationals. Would that be correct? Opo, Your Honor. Correct. And according to your statement and answer to the questions, inamin mo na it was in accordance with the approval of your jail superintendent. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you, you stated or you answered that under oath. Yes. Opo, Your Tama. Honor. Opo. Okay. Now, sa galugad operation sa kinondak, Dito sa dalawang PD, local PDLs, ang nakita nyo ay empty shabu sa chase. Opo, Iron. Empty shabu sa chase. Opo. Walang shabu, kundi sa chase lang. Tama? Opo, Iron. Yes. And uh, naggalugad din kayo 
nagkontak kayo ng Galugad Operations doon sa foreign uh, nationals. Tama? Tama po, Your Honor. Ano po ang nakita nyo? Ang nakuha nyo doon sa tatlong uh, foreign national PDLs? May mga cellphone, uh, pocket wifi, charger, pati po mga playing cards po, Your Honor. And because of these violations, according to you, uh, they were ordered to be placed in, Bartol in Bartolina, Zelda number 6. Also, during that time, according to the uh, one in charge of the Bartolinas, there were six Bartolinas there. Tama? Iho, yung in charge ng Bartolina? Sinagot mo sa akin nun, anim. Yes po, Your Honor. Tatlong malaki, tatlong maliit. Yes po, Your Honor. Oh, tama, yung sagot mo. Tapos, what is startling about your statements would be the fact na yung limang Bartolina, punong-puno, sobra na yung mga tao na nandun. That was your answer sa aking pagtatanong nung nandun ka na ko po. Yes po, Your Honor. Oh, so, punong-puno. Pero ang sinagot mo, doon sa selda number 6, dalawa lang ang nandun. Tama? At ang dalawang nandun ay si PDL Tata at saka si PDL Andy. Correct? Yes po, Your Honor. Ang tanong ko, bakit punong-puno yung lima na selda ng Bartolina? Eh bakit hindi nyo dinala doon sa selda number 6 na dadalawa lang ang nandun? Hindi mo masagot nun. Hindi ang sagot mo sa akin nun, if I remember it perfectly, hindi ka naka-duty. It's on record. Your Honor, hindi po ako naka-duty ng August 13. Kaya nga, 13 yun ang po. sagot mo sa akin noon. Ang sagot mo, nung tinanong kita, bakit punong-puno yung limang selda, ay eh, doon sa pang-anim na selda, dadalawa lang andon, dapat transfer mo. Di ba? Kung wala kayong plano, eh dapat pinuno nyo yun. Pero in-reserve nyo yun, Para doon sa dalawa, kay Tata Andy at saka PDL uh, Tata. At doon nyo dadalhin din o dinala yung tatlong foreign PDLs kasama nung dalawa. Pwede po magpaliwanag, Your Honor. Pa ano ipapaliwanag mo, Iho? Wala pa naman akong ang tinatanong ko. Hindi ba ganun ang nangyari? Uh, ang pag-a-assign pag po kasi Akala ng... ko ba hindi ka duty para kaya hindi mo alam? Nung August 13 po ako, hindi duty or honor. Nung Sabado. Kaya Sabado linggo man po ang kaya ang, ah, rest day eh, ko. Eh, huwag ka nang umiwas, iho, at sabit ka rin. Sinasabi ko na sa iyo. Kasi yung mga circumstances would point to the fact na kaya ako nga tinanong nung araw na yon. Ilan ang Bartolina? Ang sagot mo, anim. Tatlong malaki, tatlong may, uh, maliit. At tinanong ko, ilan ang mga taong nandun? Sinasabi mo nga, sobra, punong-puno. Ang tanong ko sunod, bakit doon sa selda number 6, dadalawa lang nandun, hindi nyo inilagay yung sobra doon? Kasi may plano kayo. Pwede po magpaliwanag, Your Honor. Hindi naman kita hinihinga ng paliwanag eh. Sorry po. Ang sinasabi ko, kung ano ang sinagot mo sa akin nung tinatanong kita. Di ba? Yes. Hindi ba katotohanan o nag, nagsisinungaling ba ako? Hindi po, Your Honor. O, totoo lahat yung sinabi ko. Yes Kasi po. Kasi yun ang sagot mo sa akin noon. Yes po, Your Honor. Di ba? So, huwag ka nang umiwas. Kasi talagang kasama sa plano na sa Zelda number 6 ng Bartolina, Doon dadalhin yung dalawang local local PDLs at saka yung tatlong kwan, uh, foreign uh, PDLs at doon sila pinatay. Di ba? Ang report ninyo, ano to? Naglaban sila. Yun ang report ninyo. That's why they were charged for homicide. Pero hindi nyo alam, it worked against your favor because according to PDG uh, Director General Lasso, there is always a time for reckoning. I think the reckoning is now. <laughs> Correct. Mr. Chair, may I move that the 
NBI should conduct an investigation and get all the pieces of evidence and documents given to this committee so that they can file the necessary charges against those people who should be charged because of this uh, crime, Mr. Chair. So move, Mr. Chair. Second, there is a motion uh, to direct the NBI to conduct a thorough investigation on the death that uh, happened in the Davao Penal Colony and uh, it was duly seconded. Are there any objections? Hearing none, the motion is carried.